Hello everyone, welcome back to Sebrof. In this video, I will be explaining that how to fix Minecraft connection, timeout, no further information. So if you have the same issues on your Windows 10 or 11 PC and laptop, then follow the steps that I'm going to share in this video. Now just keep in mind that this video can be a bit lengthy because I'm covering the entire solution and I'm very sure by the end of this video, your problem will be fixed. So the first thing that I would recommend you that go ahead and check for Java update. So click on your windows search type here control and from the suggestion click on control panel now here you have to look for programs in case if you do not see such kind of page then you have to click on view by at the right hand top and from large or small icon you have to choose category then click on programs then click on java and then you have to click on update from the top menu option click on update now and if there are update available, it will let you know you have to go ahead and update it. And if not, then you will be getting this kind of message. Now, in case if you're not able to open Java, if you get any kind of error message that Java is not installed, then you need to come to this website for which you will be getting the link in the description. And from here, you have to download Java and install it. All right. So once you are done with this, kindly go ahead and restart your PC and see that if the problem has been fixed. And if still the issue has not been resolved, then make sure that you just disable any kind of third party antivirus program like your AVG, Avast, Norton or Kaspersky. Alright, so what you can do at the right hand corner, you can click on the arrow icon and look for any kind of third party application like uh, antivirus. Just make a right click on it and choose quit or close. Alright, you can also go ahead and just uninstall from the control panel because these security are not required as you already have the windows security protection all right so once you are done you also need to add java and minecraft in the firewall exception so click on your windows search type here allow and you will be getting allow an app for windows firewall click on it now here you have to look for java so keep scrolling down once you find it you have to click on change settings and just make sure that this option, this Java has been checked and even the private and public option has been checked. The same you have to do with the Minecraft. So look for Minecraft now. And if you do not find the Minecraft, then probably you are using the T-Launcher. So you have to look for the T-Launcher. Just check the option and check both these options of private and public. Then you have to click on OK. And then you also need to forward the 25565 port in your firewall. So click on your Windows search type firewall. You will be getting Windows Defender Firewall. You have to click on this. And this kind of page will be coming up here from the left in menu option. You have to click on advanced settings. Another box will be coming up. Now here first you have to click on inbound rule from the left in menu. Then on the right hand side, you will find the option of new rule. So click on new rule. Another page will be coming up here. You have to click on port. Then click on next. Now here you have to keep this selected to TCP and the below option will be set to a specified local port. And in the port box you have to type 25565. And then you have to click on next. Choose allow the connection. Then click on next. Keep all these options checked. Then hit next. Now you can name this as anything like 25565. You can give the description if you want. Then click on finish. All right. Now you have to do the same with the outbound rules. So now click on outbound rules from the left hand menu option. Click on new rule from the right hand side. Another box will be coming up. Now here you have to click port, then click next. The TCP is specified remote ports. And here you have to type again 25565. Next. Allow the connection. Hit next. Check all these options. Next. Again, you can name this as 25565 out okay and then click on finish and now you can close this box now click on your windows search again type cmd right click on command prompt click on run as administrator then click on yes the black window will be coming up here you have to type few command that again you will find in the description so the first command will be ip config space power slash plus dns hit enter now the next command will be NTSH space winsock space reset. Hit enter again. 
and the last command will be fc space forward slash scan now now this command will take some time because it will be scanning all kind of system file and looking for the integrity violation so what you can do you can minimize it and next what you will have to do click on your windows search type ncpa.cpl hit enter you will be getting all kind of network connection here now you have to look for the one through which you are connected so if you are connected with the wi-fi then you have to come to the wi-fi as i'm connected with ethernet so i will come to ethernet right click on it choose properties and then you have to look for internet protocol version 4 you have to look for this and make a double click on it and this another box will be coming up now here you have to select the second option that says use the following dns server address now in the preferred and the alternate dns servers you can either use the google or the cloudflare dns address so i'm taking the cloudflare you can also go with the google both the ip address will be in the description so in the preferred it will be one dot one dot one dot one and in the alternate it will be one zero zero and one then click on ok and click ok again then you have to close it again check back if the issue has been resolved and still if you have the issue then again you have to click on your windows search type network and you will be getting network reset click on it now click on reset now and all kind of network setting will be resetted and then you have to connect back again to your connection so that's all guys for today hopefully this complete list of solution will surely work for you and if yes do not forget to like and subscribe for any question let me know in the comment section till then take care bye bye